Hey guys, it's Mrs. Hutch. Um, I'm going to take you through KK1 today, which deals with correcting capitalization errors. Um, before we start, let's talk about things that you know you need to capitalize. So, if I can type. First things first, you always capitalize the start of a sentence. You also capitalize the start of a sentence in a quote. I know quotes or dialogues or dialogue um, can be kind of tough because it makes it so that you're not 100% sure because it's like a sentence in a sentence. But if it's a new sentence inside quotation marks, you need to capitalize it. Of course, the pronoun I, and then proper nouns. What are proper nouns? Proper nouns include things like names of people, names of places. So you want to be specific there. Um, names like brand names. Um, names of uh, stores, um, products, that kind of thing. Um, specific names of software. So um, if you have like a computer program or you're talking about like um, Snapchat or something like that, you need to follow that expectation. And I'll try to add to this list, I'll just put it over here to the side and then pull it up if I think of, or we come across something else to add. So in the beginning with KK1, it'll tell you how many capitalization errors you have. Start with checking, making sure the sentence is capitalized, and then go through and read the sentence and try to think with each word, does this need to be capitalized? George Washington is already capitalized, which is good, it's his name. President, even though there's only one president, we still don't capitalize it. It's still considered a job. Um, England is capitalized because it's a specific place. Revolutionary War. So there's something we can add to our list. Um, so specific events. Uh, think of wars, battles, that kind of thing. Um, on that same hand, ship names is one that sometimes people forget. Those have to be capitalized. And I can't believe I forgot it. Titles, remember our rules for capitalizing titles. Okay, two capitalization er errors. By urban population, Mexico City, good, it's capitalized. The capital of Mexico. Now capital shouldn't be capitalized. There's lots of capitals. Mexico should, though, because there's only one Mexico. Let's see if I see any other ones. Is the largest city in North America. Nope. Looks good. One capitalization error. John D. Rockefeller, all capitalized, good, was a famous American. So that's an adjective, but it comes from the word America. Business, businessman and philanthropist who earned his fortune from an oil company, not capitalized, lots of them. He co-founded in Ohio. Uh, hello, IXL. Okay, IXL doesn't wanna seem to cooperate right now. I am gonna add um, adjectives from proper nouns. To my list. So think um, like I have an Australian shepherd. I don't capitalize shepherd, but I do capitalize Australian. Okay, I've got two capitalization errors. In Canada, well Canada is a country, so right away, there we go. Thanksgiving is always celebrated on the second Monday. Monday is capitalized all the days of the week and all the months. So We'll add those to our list. 
Those are always capitalized. Next Friday, I'm going to Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a city, so I need to capitalize Los and Angeles. Just like if it were Iowa City, we would capitalize both, or Cedar Rapids, to audition for a part in a television commercial. Commercial shouldn't be capitalized. Too, it's too bad, but there's lots and lots of commercials, so not specific enough for a capitalization. Alaska was officially proclaimed the 49th state of the United States on January 3rd, 1959. So when I read this, I see Alaska is capitalized. Good, it's a state and the beginning of the sentence. January is capitalized because it's a month. States is capitalized, but United has to be capitalized too because that's the name, you know, United States, or if it said United States of America, we would capitalize it like a title and not capitalize of. One capitalization error. China is the largest country located entirely in Asia, the world's largest continent. So China is capitalized, good, beginning of the sentence, and it's a country. Asia is a continent. So when we think of places, think cities, countries, continents. Here's where it gets kind of tricky though, okay? World, world is not capitalized. If it said Earth's, because Earth is the name of our planet, it would be capitalized. But Mars is a world too, it's just not our world. So planet names are capitalized, but world is not, okay? Earth is also not capitalized if you're talking about the earth was good for planting, meaning like the soil, the ground, the dirt. Um, but if you're talking about we live on earth, it's capitalized because it's the name of a specific planet. Three capitalization errors. At 2,722 feet tall, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai became the tallest man-made structure in the world when its construction was completed in 2010. Well, we just talked about worlds not capitalized. This is a specific name of a building. So like Eiffel Tower, Sears Tower, Statue of Liberty, those landmarks or buildings would go under our places and those are capitalized. Dubai is a city, so we're gonna capitalize that as well. On our tour of Coit Tower in San Francisco, we met some Brazilian tourists who spoke Portuguese. Okay, tour is not capitalized, that's a verb, it's just not capitalized. Coit Tower is capitalized. It's one of those buildings slash landmarks. San Francisco, both parts need to be capitalized. Brazilian describes the type of tourists, so we should capitalize that, meaning they're from Brazil, the country. Tourists, though, is not capitalized. That could just be walker or, um, you know, anything, teacher, anything that's just like a, a label and who spoke Portuguese. Portuguese comes from the word Portugal, which is a country, so we would capitalize it. Do I have five? One, two, three, four, five. The Middle Ages in Europe began with the decline of Rome in the fifth century and lasted through the 14th, uh, 14th century. Ooh, that's a long time, I didn't know that. So Middle Ages should be capitalized. The is capitalized, start of the sentence. Middle Ages should be capitalized. We're gonna go with specific time periods. We're gonna add that to our list. Um, so Middle Age um, is a specific time period. Uh, Renaissance is a specific time period. Um, there's a couple different ones. Let's see. 
Europe is a continent. We should capitalize that. Decline should not be capitalized. Hopefully you guys remember from world cultures, Rome is capitalized. We don't capitalize century or like which century it is. I'm not sure why, we just don't. Aunt Lisa makes the best spaghetti carbonara, which is an Italian pasta dish made with bacon, eggs, and cheese. So, ants should be capitalized, not just because it's the beginning of the sentence, but also because um, it's used as a title in this case. So, um, I have a professor that was named Professor um, Horan, and so I would capitalize if I said, you know, I have... English Lit with Professor Horan. I would capitalize Professor and Horan. Um, Aunt Lisa, Lisa is capitalized, um, makes the best spaghetti. Spaghetti is not capitalized. Carbonara, still not capitalized, which is an Italian pasta dish. Italian comes from the word Italy, so it's capitalized made with bacon, eggs, and cheese. None of those are capitalized. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, good to go. In the summer of 1945, a plane accidentally crashed into the Empire State Building, killing 14 people. Summer is not capitalized, even though it is a season. We don't capitalize seasons, okay, because there's lots of summers, there's lots of winters, all that kind of stuff. Plane, just like car, not capitalized. Um, Empire State Building is a specific landmark, so we're going to capitalize that. Um, and I needed three, I've got three. Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, was an important contributor to the Declaration of Independence. Jefferson, capitalized. His name is Thomas Jefferson. You have to capitalize it. Um, president, not capitalized because it's a job. United States is our country, so country names are capitalized. Declaration of Independence should be capitalized because it is a specific document. So let's add that on. It's like a title to a specific document, okay? Five, so I have one, two, three, four, five, good. General Lee surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse in 1865, bringing the American Civil War to an end. So General Lee is capitalized, that's good. That's his title and his name. Surrendered shouldn't be capitalized. At Appomattox, good, capitalized, because it's the name of a city. I believe courthouse is capitalized um, because it's the Appomattox Courthouse, so it's the name of the building. In 1865, bringing the American Civil War, that should be capitalized because um, it's the specific name of the war. We don't always call it the American Civil War because it's the one we think of. But in other countries, they would call it the American Civil War because it's not their country's civil war, it's ours. Um, N should not be capitalized. Since its completion in 1970, the Aswan High Dam across the Nile River has provided Egyptians with electricity as well as protection from floods and droughts. Let's see. Oh, tricky. We don't have a number anymore. Since its completion, since it's capitalized, the Aswan High Dam, that should all be capitalized. It's the name of the dam. Across the Nile River, specific place, has provided Egyptians should be capitalized because Egypt, Egyptians means they're from Egypt. With electricity as well as protection from floods and droughts. I believe that's it. Good deal. After World War II, notice we've got Roman numerals here. 
World War is a specific event, so that should be capitalized. The Soviet Union is the name of a country, or was 